Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know what's going on today from the title. We finna do another hair review. So before we get into it, actually, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And if you are a new subscriber or if you're new to my channel, welcome. What's good? What's good? What's good? From my channel, you're gonna see all types of things, okay? So it ain't just gonna be about here. But if you like it, make sure you subscribe. Anyways, also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on another upload. But I got some hair from a um an Amazon seller. The Amazon seller name is like TMTM. -TM. I'm gonna post the information on the screen so you guys have the correct information and also all the information that you need to know like the direct link to the wig will be in the description box below but here is the bag that the wig came in so it came in this plastic bag but then it also came with this purple bag so here's what to say human hair wigs remy hair let's go ahead and open it up and take a look so they gave me some wig caps uh, so this wig is a 20 inch wig so it's a 13 by 4 lace frontal lace frontal wig um it says it comes with the baby hairs and it's pre-plugged so let's go ahead and take a look Ooh, i can't wait to put this on baby yes y'all can see the baby hairs it's pre-plugged the hairline okay hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Okay, let me show y'all for real. But y'all see? Y'all see? Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Look at the inside construction of this wig. So it is a 13 by 4. It goes ear to ear. It has three combs at the top. So one, two, and then this third one. And then a fourth one at the bottom. And then it also comes with the adjustable straps at the bottom as well. It also came with some lashes. All right, y'all, so with this wig, I had one of his sprays, so I got to be glue spray on here. And that's just to push all the hairs back so I don't bleach them. Then once I feel like, you know, most of the hair is pushed back, most of the baby hairs and things like that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on the, on the mannequin head. Okay, I think that's enough. I just want to make sure it's pushed back. Because I hate when I bleach my baby hairs on accident. So here's my mannequin head. And I want to let you all know that for today's method, I'm going to be trying out the ball cap method. I be seeing all the hairstylists on Instagram. They be using this method. And so I'm going to follow through and use that method for today because I want my wig to look natural as well. I want it to look like my scalp. Okay. So this is what I'm going to be using to bleach the knots today. All right. So I have the mix already in there. So I'm just mixing it up right now. Trying to get it to a good consistency where it's not too watery. I want it thick enough where it's sitting on top and not sinking through the lace. I think this is a good enough consistency. <laughs> I just really don't want it to uh, go through the lace, but I'm about to go ahead and start applying this and then I'll be back. All right, so I got all of the bleach on there and so I'm gonna leave it on here for about, I don't know, five minutes maybe, 10 minutes. All right, so I left it on there for about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off and I'll be back. I'm doing the ball cap method today. I see a bunch of hairstylists on Instagram doing this, so I got it really stretched out. And y'all see underneath the cap, I got my dreads retwisted, which I'm very happy about. Shout out to my good sis, Pasha Crenshaw, for retwisting my dreads because your girl really needed it. Now I'm just cutting off the excess cap that I don't need. Y'all let me know in the comment sections below what y'all do. Do y'all do this method? Do y'all do it this way? Or what other way do y'all prefer to do it? Let me know in the comment sections below. So 
So I still have some of the wig cap that is not laid down all the way. And so I just sprayed some um, got to be good spray on the end of the comb. And I used that that was on the end of the comb to lay down what was still sticking up while blow drying at the same time. Now I'm just applying some makeup to the cap. Now, I wish I had some darker makeup, like some darker foundation, but I really don't. Uh, I feel like that would have blended a little bit better. Now I also added some makeup to the bottom of the lace of the wig as well. Before actually gluing this wig down, I'm just seeing how it fits. Now I'm just adding some boho glue to my hairline before I actually put it on the wig. And I know I was going a little too crazy with the boho glue. I was in a rush y'all because I had to go to the mall because I had a flight the next morning and so I needed to go to the mall before it closed so I was really rushing on this hair. Now I'm just letting that layer dry and then I went ahead and added one more layer. Before laying down my wig, I had went ahead and cut the lace into sections. I had laid down the middle of the wig first and then I had went ahead and moved on to the sides. And as I was laying down my wig, you guys can see that I was making sure that I was combing back my hair and that would just help to make sure that the hair would go into the glue and to make sure that everything was laying down and was sticking. Now I'm just wrapping my elastic band around to make sure that my hair is going to be laid and that everything sticks down like it should. Now I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the excess lace. I noticed that there were some areas of my lace that were not laying down and that were still sticking up and so I just took my bold hole glue and just added about one or two layers on the areas that were still sticking up and then I went ahead and blow dried it making sure that it was clear and then went ahead and laid the lace down. There was one step that I noticed that I did miss, which was wiping my forehead or my hairline with alcohol, taking off the excess glue. So I did miss that step, but I believe that was it. After fixing up my lace, I went ahead and took my elastic band and tied that around, left that on there, blow dried it a little bit, making sure that it was dry and that it was laid. And then after that, I went ahead and started on my baby hairs. All 
I really love how this wig comes pre-plugged. I did not plug this wig at all myself, um, but I would say one thing that I should have plugged a little bit more was the sides. Like the middle um, of the wig was pretty much plugged and I didn't have to do nothing to it at all. But as you guys will see like on the sides and everything, it's a little bit thicker on the sides. I did not go back and pluck it, but you know, for the sake of this video, but I would say if I was to reinstall this hair, I would go back and just um, pluck the sides. Now I'm pretty much done, but the last thing I'm going to do is add some spritz to my hairline, to my baby hairs. Um, I saw someone do this on Instagram too, and I think it's just going to hold down the lace a little bit more stronger, hold down the baby hairs and everything. So I'm going to do this last step, add my elastic band, and then blow dry it. And then here is the final look for you guys. Now this is right after I got done, and then this is a few days after. So I added a little swoop in the middle. I got the hair pulled to the back. And I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell. If there's any other video ideas you guys want to see, make sure you go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment sections below. And I would definitely appreciate it. I'll see you all on the next video.